All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So I'm going to look at the crypto sector today. We're going to look at Marathon, Riot, Wolf, and Hut on this one. If I got time, maybe I'll flash any or a couple others. But things are getting a little better right now, and that's that's a good thing, right? Um, the halving the having just happened on Bitcoin. Um, I'm planning on covering Bitcoin soon. Really quickly, if you can let me know what chart you use, um, like what company you use, if it's free, that's obviously a plus. But yeah, I'm going to be setting that up this week. All right. So the important number for Bitcoin in my eyes is 67,500. Okay. 675. If Bitcoin can break that number, good things will happen and we should see a run past that and, and into the 70s, all right? The last thing I want is to lose 64,000, all right? We're currently sitting at 66.5, so obviously it's a little closer to the good number than the bad number, right? But 67.5 is the magic number, all right? And then again, basically 64K flat is the death number right now. And look, when I say death number, I'm not talking like craziness, right? But I can see it slipping to 61, maybe even the high 50s after that, all right? So clearly Bitcoin's movement is gonna be really, really influential on what we see across these four, all right? So that's obviously why I started with that. But excited to talk about these four specifically, but before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions what are we going to do same thing we always do right we'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term we have our five moving averages there are horizontal support and resistance lines that i do draw manually myself and then when we are done up here we'll use the macd rsi and volume as our lower indicators Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, just being here and giving me your time, oh, I am so, so grateful for it all, all right? So really, really good things happening here. Obviously, Riot, and I'll get to that one shortly, but Riot with the big big candle and this really feels like it wants to get into the 12s all right and again i'll get to that shortly marathon was not looking the same at all all right and when you look at the 15 minute chart again today's the 22nd right so this is the entire view each of these represents 15 minutes right now on this right but yeah the day started horribly it really really did and as bad as it was riot was still going up right oh sorry my cat needs to go outside let me what are you doing get out of here good 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 Perfect. Sorry about that. So it was really, really nice to see that this thing not only made the recovery, but hey, I say it on the 15, I say it on the daily on whatever, right? Break them all and fly. It got over all five and did make a nice move up, right? So Marathon wasn't the full day juggernaut that we saw, but I like this candle. I do like this candle, all right? Let's talk about the regular hours. I see it going up after hours too, by the way. I'll talk about that shortly. You know I care about regular hours way way more okay but why do i like this look i like the fact look at the third line in the box over there the high of the day was 17 dollars 58 we basically close a couple pennies below that i like it when the candle basically is at the high of the day right to me that just says people are hungry to buy more 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 and then the market just closes and says hey please come back tomorrow we're closed right like i like that right Look at this volume. This is nice volume, all right? And today was obviously the best of the volume because look at that. We're getting at or over the 50-day average. That's an amazing goal, right? You can see it. Basically, since this dump off in the beginning of the year, right, even this little uptrend that we had wasn't as good. Volume was consistently above the 50-day average line and then I mean, becomes a struggle to say the least, right? So I'm really, really hoping that we replicate this, right? Like I want to be at the white line. Clearly, I want to be over it, all right? So um, 
so far, I think looking at the technicals, right, we almost lose the 200, but I always say two things, right? Number one, this is a strong line. And as hard as it is to break it up, it should be very hard to lose it down. And one bad candle, you can't overreact, excuse me. Um, that's one bad candle, but doji don't count, doji don't count, and lo and behold, we're on our way, right? Now, look, that's a good candle on Friday that got us over two moving averages. This doesn't count. It really doesn't because this is a doji. That's not a good enough candle, we'll say. But I am really expecting this thing to come to, to 20, sorry, 1825, give or take. And hey, if that can break, there's a real good chance we make a nice strong move up to 20 right here, okay? Again, I'm gonna say the numbers one more time just in case you fast forwarded to, to this part specifically, all right? For Bitcoin to do well, it must break 67,500. Okay, and I don't wanna just get over that number, I want to break that number, right? There's a difference between over the line and breaking the line. The bad number is gonna be 64,000. I don't wanna go below 64, and as I'm saying these words right now, we're actually still going up and we're basically at 66.6 right now, so um, almost seven. So things are looking like they're heading towards that number, but again, we need to break it, not just get close to it or, or a little above it, right? So make sure you know what Bitcoin's doing, because again, normally I say look at NASDAQ, look at SPY, this and that. To me, the strength of Bitcoin is the, the index for these, right? So I think that's a good summary on this. Let's take a look at the weekly really quickly. Okay, look, uh, uh, there's a lot going on, right? And I just talked about on the daily, maybe we'll get to 20. I, I still think 20 is probably gonna be our high point for now, all right? There's definitely three moving averages on this. Let's see how the week plays out. It might be a little much expecting it to break all three of those on the single candle. That said, if Bitcoin does the job, hey, you know, it'll, it'll do it with a smile, right? So I think I like what we said on the daily. For now, the first immediate target Target is going to be eighteen dollars and what? What did I say? Twenty-five cents, something like that. Um, from there, if that number can break, we'll we'll make a good run to twenty. And look, I mean, it's a lot of red, 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 red. So there's actually a decent chance that that eighteen twenty-five does break. Okay, so. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, let's take a look at Ryan. Beautiful day right here. Very, very beautiful day. I do see it going up a little bit after hours, but again, you know, if you watch my videos, I care way more about regular hours, right? So, um, really quickly, if you can please subscribe, if you can please share this video, it does wonders with the algorithm. So, um, Listen, I don't know if you fast forwarded. I, I feel like I've repeated this a couple times. I'm sorry if you heard it already, but 67.5, 67,500 is a number we need to break up for me to believe that we're going to retest all time highs. I do not want to lose 64,000. All right. Those are, those are basically my one, two good, bad numbers for Bitcoin. All right. Um, I love this chart. I love this chart so much for a couple different reasons, right? Let's let, no, no, let me keep that zoom in right here. And let's talk about down here before we get up here. I am loving the divergence on the MACD and the RSI. I really am. All right. And you know, I, I mentioned it in, in my comment over the weekend. Look, my rules aren't the best in a shaky market. It's definitely something I've learned. I know my limits and I know the limits of, of my rules, right? My trading strategy that I, I do on these videos, right? That said, I mean, I'm liking the Bitcoin movement. I am liking this red, 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 red. I realized that these two candles in a lot of ways needed their own confirmation, right? Friday, we broke the eight. Obviously, this looks like a confirmation candle, but no, 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 we actually just broke the 20 as well. So I do need one more candle, right? I think coming around to 12 is probably what I'm gonna expect. And really, I don't think there's gonna be much of a difficulty coming at 12, because just look at this, right? Red, 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 kind of a baby green. Red, 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 should be a nice green, green. Like that's a, that's a good channel, right? Break the eight, go to the 20, break the 20, go to the 50. I wouldn't necessarily say we broke them. Like I said, the confirmation's not there, but it smells like it wants to go to the 50 loving the volume it's actually a nicer volume increase than we saw on marathon right so 
Um, I'm liking this. And again, the strength of the candle itself. I just mentioned it on Marathon. Riot, the third line, the high of the day was $11.27. This thing closes at $11.24. Pennies from the high. I love it. That does show strength, right? So look, regular hours are going up a little bit. To me, that's that's good, obviously. <laughs> I mean, obviously up is good, right? But yeah, if you're going to go up 20 plus percent and you're not going to tank like 5 7% after hours, that's nice. And again, I, th I like the divergence. I like the lower indicators and I love this little channel right there let's come to the weekly real quick again we have a really nice channel there's a lot of room between where we're sitting and this 1240 number on the weekly right that pretty much lines up with this 1230 something number that we're saying on the daily right so i love it when the daily and the weekly basically echo the same thing right so yeah it feels like riot is going to want a little bit more here all right so so far so good it's starting to feel like the sector's doing good but remember Bitcoin Bitcoin is its own little monster, right? And it can do whatever it wants. And right now it feels like it's doing good things, right? So as long as that holds, um, yeah, these, these really are setting up very, very nicely. And look, I kind of do these in this order, right? I feel like Marathon and Riot are basically the one, two. Look, we, let me actually turn this off so I don't, okay. Coinbase and Hut and, and Robinhood, right? Not Hut, Hood. Um, Coinbase and Robinhood, I feel like I've, they've become a little bit more of these like financial institution stocks. These, I feel like, are the miners, and these are what I like, right? So let me know if you disagree. Let me know if there's like another one you think is more of a powerhouse. But um, yeah, that's just my one-two right there. So let's take a look at Wolf next. I think Wolf will be a good one. And hey, I'm liking Wolf right here, all right? Um, it's almost the same thing that I said on right. Actually, really quickly, please, if you can subscribe, if you can share, it does wonders with the algorithms, all right? So really liking the charts right here, okay? The 200 and the 100 are the last two lines we have. These are very hard to break, especially when they're stacked so tight. Look, they're very hard to lose, especially when they're stacked so tight, right? So one candle underneath, you can't make extreme ex, you know, judgments and stuff. You gotta wait for confirmation. Not only does it not come, it basically jumps every line each of the last days, right? So today was a good candle. Today feels like it was a good validation of the last ones, right? And I do like, it's only a penny, but I'll take it. I like that we also close over the last uh, resistance line here, right? So zooming out a little bit, oh my. My, 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 it looks like Wolf might be hungry for 350. It does, this looks very nice right here, actually. It looks like this might be getting ready, interesting. Gotta love it, right? Look, let's take a look down here. MACD is actually positive. I don't think that was the case for Marathon or for Riot. Yeah, both are negative. Both are very, very close, but um, Wolf is actually on the positive. Love it. MAC uh, RSI is at a healthy 60, and hey, they're both giving that peak of divergence. And again, we're seeing it across the three. Volume's growing nicely, and hey, we're over that 50-day average. So this looks good. I think on a worst case, I can see this coming back down to 246, but it seems like we're over all five and ready to fly. And especially if Bitcoin can creep its way to that 67,500 number, if it can break it especially, I think that could be really good for, for these. So, so far, it is really feeling like sector strength is, is picking up here. Look, we're over three, sorry, we're over four moving averages. And looky, looky, this hundred on the weekly is just starting. This stock has not been around for very many weeks. You can see the 100 was right here. We still need another, what, 75 weeks before we're going to get that 20? I'm just kind of guessing that that's about 25. I'm not going to count each of those, right? But there's a long, long time till that, till that 200 forms. And as of this moment, we are overall on the daily and all on the weekly. This could be setting up very, very well, especially because look, red, 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 whole mess of nothing green 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 red 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 whole mess of nothing break this and my 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 wolf looking really really hungry right here sharpening its teeth actually um that was a bad wolf pun but let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions even if you disagree i mean look at hut right here this is a nice candle to okay 
This one's a little bit more interesting because this one actually loses all five moving averages. That's a, that's a, a quite a difference from the others. Really quickly, please, if you can subscribe, if you can share this video, it does wonders with the algorithms. But um, Hut's coming up to a very big test, that 100 moving average right there, right? If we can get over that blue line, that's a fantastic channel all the way up to that almost 11, right? 1090, basically. And then from there, there's really goodness. Oh, I got to draw a new line. Let's draw that. I think that's the simplest one to draw for now. Oh, look at that. It's actually almost half of that guy, top of that guy. Almost, I like that line, top of that one. That's an important line. So if we can break this 100 moving average of 940, I think there's a good shot that this thing is going to come to 10. Let's call it 11. I think 11 might be a little bit more important than this 1215 line that I drew. I think arguably maybe I could have even drawn it a little bit higher, but I think we'll get to that correction if we get that high, right? But I'm liking the sector strength so far. The last, what, the last three have looked really good. This one doesn't quite have the same divergence on the MACD and the RSI, it's obviously the MACD that doesn't have it. This one didn't quite hit the 50-day average like we saw in the other one, right? So this one I would say is just a little bit behind the others, but yeah, I mean, it it, it should follow. I think that would be a, a decent expectation. Again, that's why I like reviewing things in a sector, right? So um, let me go to the weekly. Again, there's a decent amount of lines here, right? We still got... So there's going to be some noise at 10 for sure, and then 11, 15, 10. No, and then I'm going to take this. So maybe 10 will be just a little bit harder. Um, but really, again, I think at that point, I think the daily chart might help. I'm not going to draw a line at 10. I think that's going to be a little bit, a little bit redundant, but... Um, I think if anything, I would, no, I would, I look, I think I just look at it like this. I, I think the sector strength would help us kind of bypass that weekly and just kind of focus here is, is going to be my thought actually. So yeah, no extra lines, no extra thoughts coming off that weekly chart. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, I'll take a quick look at any real quick. I'm not liking this one just yet. You know I want to be over the 8 and the 20. Maybe you can say that there's an argument that this is going to go up to 125. That's actually a 10% move, so that wouldn't be too, too bad. But really, I'd be more interested above 130. I'll probably set that alert. I think let me know 129. And then from there, I would want to trade that all the way up to like 160-ish if that comes. So that, that's my quick thoughts there. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, hey, thank you so, so much.